hide, as Megan had pulled a wall over the public's eyes about Archie's birth, and Harry was obsessed with the barbaric ordeal. As Prince Harry was obsessed with keeping the birth of his son, Archie, a secret from the public eye, and that wife Meghan Markle was equally not interested in sharing her firstborn with the world. As Archie Harrison, now three years old, was born just less than a year after the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex had tied the knot at Windsor in 2018. As the birth took place at London's private Portland hospital, and that the couple had decided against doing an official photo call outside of the hospital after his birth, as there was some confusion on the day as Archie was born before Buckingham Palace had even confirmed that Meghan was in labour. As according to the royal author, Valentine Lowe, Archie's birth came following a series of battles with the media that spring and summer, involving the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex. As it was not just Harry that was obsessed with keeping the details a secret, but Meghan thought that the entire ordeal was barbaric and that she did not want to participate. As Meghan had originally didn't even want to have a baby in a hospital, a royal expert Kingsley Shawfield exclusively told. As Ms. Shawfield filled that then claimed that Meghan had wanted to opt for the home birth, before being told that it could be too many complications since it was a gerocratic pregnancy, referring to a pregnancy in someone over the age of 35. As Katie Nicole had wrote that Harry and Meghan had wanted some time as a new family before they presented their son Archie to the world. As a brief photo opportunity with a single reporter to ask some questions had taken place two days after the birth in St. George's Hall at Windsor Castle. As the usual protocol following a royal birth is for the father, the mother and the newborn baby to pose on the steps of the hospital, surrounded by the well-wishers and photographers, and to answer a few questions before driving away. But, but the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex had wanted to change all of that, as Harry and Markle had debuted Archie at Windsor Castle whenever the Duchess of Sussex had felt prepared, as the occasion had featured one journalist and one photographer. But it all felt a little stage-managed, with pre-approved questions, one journalist and one photographer, as it demonstrated the growing gulf between the public expectation of Harry and what he felt obliged to give, Nicole had wrote in the book. As the quest for secrecy had allegedly breached an unwritten contract between the royals and the public, who were eager and expecting to hear all of the details about the new royal baby as soon as Meghan Markle had given birth. As this departure from protocol had caused the angst within the royal household, and behind the scenes, matters were so fraught that more than one official, as I know from personal experience, was reduced to tears of frustration and despair, the royal editor Rebecca English wrote. As Prince William did not understand the detour from protocol and was so unhappy with the drama that it took them days to come to meet the baby. As the palace felt like this was one of the first examples of the Sussexes distancing themselves and moving in an entirely different direction. As a spokesperson for Meghan and Harry, had been contacted for comments. As in addition, Meghan's Christian names had been secretly erased from Archie's birth certificate. As it went on to quote the royal observers, who rather absurdly had suggested that the change has been deliberately moved to distance the Sussexes from the Cambridges amid the rumours of a rift between the royal couples. Following the report, Meghan had issued a furiously worded statement through her USPR advisers, insisting that the removal of her Christian names has been dictated by the palace, as confirmed by documents from senior palace officials. And in the new royals, the royal expert Katie Nicole also says that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle didn't take up the Queen's invitation to take Archie to Balmoral soon after he was born, as it didn't fit their narrative. As she writes, that they were raised eyebrows when Harry and Meghan had declined an invite from the Queen to spend a long weekend at Balmoral in the summer of 2019, when she traditionally hosted a weekend for her grandchildren 
and a special sleepover for her great grandchildren, preferring to Archie and Ibiza and the south of France. <laughs>